in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Questions of John, Apostle and Evangelist, at the Secret Supper of the Kingdom of Heaven Concerning the Ordering of this World as well as the Prince and Adam. Here begins the Secret of the Heretics. I, John, companion in tribulation and in the reign of God so much, so that I am the companion who reclined at dinner on the breast of Jesus Christ our Lord, said, Lord, who will hand you over? And the Lord said to me, He who dipped his hand in the bowl with me, and Satan shall enter into him, that is the one who will hand me over. And I said, Lord, before Satan had fallen, upon what glory did he attend in the presence of the Father? And he said, He attended to the virtues of the heavens and to the throne of the invisible Father, and he was a ranger of all things. And I was seated with my Father. It was he ordering the powers of the heavens and those who followed the Father. And he was descending from the heavens down to hell and he was ascending to the throne of the invisible Father, God, and he was watching over those glories that were above all the heavens. And he took thought, wishing to place his own throne above the clouds, and he just as exalted. And when he had come down into the region of the air, he found the angel presiding over the air and said to him, Open to me the gates of the air. And the angel opened them for him. And descending, he found the angel who held control of the waters and said to him, Open for me the gates of the waters. And the angel opened them for him. And descending further, he found all the earth completely covered by the waters, and when he walked beneath them, he found two fish lying on the waters, and they were as though joined together, to support the entire earth by the command of the invisible Father. And he descended yet further and found great clouds holding the depth of the sea. And he descended even further and found his help, this is the Gehenna of fire. But afterward he was not able to descend further on account of the fire of flames that was blazing. Then Satan turned back, filled with malice, and ascended to the angel who was over the air, and to the one who was over the waters, saying to them, All things are mine. If you will obey me, I will establish my throne above the clouds, and they will be equal to the Most High. And they will lift up the waters over this higher firmament, and they will gather the remaining waters in the place of the sea, and afterward there will not be water on the face of all the earth. I will reign with you forever and ever. And he said this to the angels, and then ascended into the heavens to the third heaven, sowing doubt within the angels of the invisible Father, saying to them one at a time, How much do you owe to your Lord? And the first responded, One hundred measures of oil. And Satan said to him, Take you bill and sit and write quickly, Eighty. And he went up through the other heavens speaking thus, and he ascended even to the fifth heaven, seducing the angels of the invisible Father. And a voice came forth from the throne of the Father, saying, What are you doing, you fallen one, subverting the angels of the Father? You maker of sin, go quickly and do what you have decided to do. Then the Father ordered his angels, Remove the robes and thrones and crowns from all the angels heeding him. And they removed the robes and thrones and crowns from all the angels heeding Satan. And again I, John, asked the Lord, saying, When Satan fell, what place did he come to inhabit? And responding, he said to me, My father commanded and transformed him on account of his self-glorification, and removed the light of his glory from him, and his face was then like iron burning red from flame and every aspect of his face was like a human's, and he had seven tails dragging a third part of the angels of God. And he was cast down from the throne of God and from his place as overseer of the heavens. And descending from heaven through the firmament, Satan could find no rest, nor could those who were with him. And he begged the Father, saying, I have sinned, have patience with me. I will return everything to you. The Father had mercy on him and gave him rest to do whatever he wanted on the seventh day. And then he presided over the firmament and ordered the angel who was over the air, and that one who was over the water, and they raised up two parts of the waters on high in the air, and from a third party they made the sea. And there was a division of waters by the command of the invisible Father. And he ordered again to the angel who was over the waters, Stand over the two fish. And he lifted the earth up to his head and it appeared dry. And then he took the crown from the angel who was over the air. From half he made his throne, and from the other half the light of the sun. And taking the crown from the angel who was over the waters, he made half the light of the moon and half the light of day. And from gemstones he made fire, and from fire he made the entire army and stars, and from of the order of the highest. 
and he made thunder and rains and frost and snow, and sent his ministering angels over them. And he ordered the earth to bring forth every living thing, animals, trees, and herbs. And he ordered the sea to bring forth fish and birds of the air. And he thought to make man in servitude to himself and picked up a limb from the earth and made man similar to himself. And he ordered the angel of the second heaven to enter into the body of clay and take some matter from it and to make another body in the form of a woman. And he ordered the angel of the first heaven to enter into that one. The angels lamented greatly upon seeing that a mortal shape was on them in their separate forms. And he was commanding them to undertake the works of the flesh in their bodies of clay, and they did not realize that they were sinning. Then the instigator of sin with his seduction made it thus, he planted paradise and sent the humans into it and ordered them not to eat from it. The devil entered into paradise and planted a reed in the middle of paradise, and from his spit he made a serpent and ordered it to remain within the reed, and thus the devil hid the craft of his deceit so that they could not see his deception. And he went in to paradise, saying to them, From every fruit that is in paradise, eat, yet from the fruit of iniquity do not eat. Afterward the malevolent devil entered into the evil serpent, and he deceived the angel who was in the shape of the woman, and poured out over her head the lustful desire to sin, and Eve's lust blazed like a furnace. And the devil left the reed at once in the form of the serpent, and wrought his concupiscence with Eve with the serpent's tail. This is why they are not called the children of God, but the children of the devil. And the offspring of the serpent wished to serve their father the devil until the end of the age. Afterward the devil poured out his lust on the head of the angel who was in Adam, and both were found in the midst of enjoying their lust together generating the children of the devil and of the serpent until the end of the age. And afterward I, John, asked the Lord, saying, Why do people say Adam and Eve were created by God and placed in paradise, and trusted to be his stewards? And this happened because of the transgression of the command of the Father that they were given over to death, and the Lord said to me, Listen, O dearest John, foolish people say thus falsely, that my Father made the clay bodies, but from the Holy Spirit he made all the powers of the heavens. However, they were found having clay bodies, and were given over to death because of the transgressions and because of their fall. And I, John, asked the Lord further, saying, How is it that man came about from a spirit within a carnal body? And the Lord said to me, From the fallen spirits of the heavens they entered into the feminine clay body and took flesh on account of the lust of the flesh. And the spirit is born from spirit and flesh from flesh, and thus Satan's realm was established in this world. And I asked the Lord, saying, and how did Satan come to reign in this world over the existence of humans? And the Lord said to me, My father permitted that one to reign seven days which are seven ages. And again I, John, asked the Lord, saying, What will this age be like? And he said to me, From the time when the devil fell from the father's glory and desire to his own glory, he was seated above the clouds and sent his ministers, the angels of searing fire to men below from Adam to Enoch. And Satan sent his minister, and took him up above the firmament and showed to him his deity, and commanded that he be given pen and ink. And sitting there he wrote seventy-six books. And Satan ordered Enoch to bear them back down to the earth. Then Enoch carried down the books and gave them to his children, and taught them how to make the proper form of sacrifices and places of sacrifices. And they did thus, and they closed the kingdom of the heavens to humans. And he said to them, See, I am God and there is no other God before me. For this reason has my Father sent me into this world, to make his name known to humankind, and that they might discern him and the malicious devil. When, then Satan had realized that I was ascending into this world, he sent his angel and chose three trees and gave them to the prophet Moses for my crucifixion, and these very limbs are safeguarded for me even now. And he, Moses, declared him, Satan, as God and he, Satan, ordered that the law be given to the children of Israel, and thus he led them out through dry land through the middle of the Red Sea. When my father had thought to send me into this world, he sent before me his angel through the Holy Spirit to receive me, who is called Mary, my mother. And I, descending through her hearing, entered in and I have come out from there. And Satan, prince of this world, 
knew that I had come to seek and to save those who had perished, and he sent his angel Elijah as the prophet baptizing in water who was called John the Baptist. But Elijah asked the prince of this world how he could recognize him, Jesus. And he said to him, The one on whom you see the Holy Spirit descend in the form of a dove and remain on him is the one who baptized with the Holy Spirit and fire. That is why he was telling this to John, because he did not recognize him. But that one whom he sent to baptize him in the water, to him he said this. John testified, I baptize you with water for repentance, but that one will baptize you in the Holy Spirit for the remission of sins. It is he who is able to condemn and save. And again I, John, ask the Lord. Can a person obtain salvation through baptism? He answered. Without my baptism through which I baptize for the remission of sins, I say, no one can have God's salvation. About which, I am the bread of life come down from the seventh heaven, because he who eats my flesh and drinks my blood, they are called sons of God. And I asked the Lord, What is your flesh and what is your blood? Both D and V appear to lack at least one answer and another question. And the Lord said to me, Before the devil had fallen with all the angelic armies of the Father, the praying angels of the Father were giving glory to my Father with this prayer, saying, Our Father, you who are in the heavens. Thus this song was going up before the throne of the Father. But the angels out of those who fell are now unable to give glory to God in this prayer. And again I asked the Lord, how did the entire world receive John's baptism, and yet everyone did not receive yours? The Lord responded to me. For this reason, because all their deeds are evil, and they do not come to the light. The disciples of John are married and are given in marriage, but my disciples are not married nor are they given in marriage, but they are like the angels of God in heaven in the kingdom of the heavens. And I said, If thus it is a sin to be with women, then it does little good to marry. And the Lord said, not everyone can accept this teaching, but only those to whom it is given. For there are eunuchs who are born thus from the womb of their mothers, and there are eunuchs who are made from humans, and there are eunuchs who castrate themselves for the sake of the kingdom of the heavens. And afterward I asked the Lord about the day of judgment. What will be the sign of your coming? Responding, the Lord said, and it will come to pass when the number of the just is completed, according to the fallen number of crowned ones. Then Satan will be released from his prison, having immense wrath, and he will make war against the just. And the just will call on the Lord their God. At once the Lord will command his archangel to sound the trumpet, and the voice of the archangel will carry out from the heavens and will be heard even to the underworld. Then the sun will be darkened, and the moon will not give its light, and the stars will be falling from the heavens. The four great winds will be loosed from their usual stations, and the earth shall tremble in the sea and the mountains and the stars together. And then the sign of the sun will be revealed. All the tribes of the earth will mourn. At once heaven will tremble and will be darkened and the sun will shine until the ninth hour. And then the Son of Man will be revealed in His glory, and all the saints and angels with Him, and the seats will be placed above the clouds, and He will sit above the seat of His glory with the twelve apostles above the twelve seats of His glory. Books will appear and they will judge all the peoples of the earth. Then faith will be made known. The Son of Man will then send His angels, and collect His elect from the heights of the heavens to their ends. And they will lead them with them against me above the cloud in the air. Then the Son of God will send forth the evil demons, and cast them down with wrath and all tongues who believed in them, Come ye who have said, Let us eat and drink and take those things that are here. And let us see how many accomplices they shall have from these. And at once all people shall stand with fear before the judge. The two books will be opened, and they will reveal all peoples with their proclamation, and will bring glory to the just in their sufferings with good works. Glory and honor will go to those having observed an angelic life and those obeying iniquity will receive wrath and fury and anguish and indignity. And the Son of Man will separate his just ones from among the sinners, saying to them, Come, you that are blessed by my Father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Then he will say to the sinners, Depart from me, you evil doers, into the everlasting fire prepared for the devil and his angels. And the rest will see the final separation and will be turned back to the sinners in hell. By the permission of the Father, the unbelieving spirits shall go out from their prison for a while. They shall hear my voice and there shall be but one flock and one shepherd, 
Then, by permission of the Father, shadowy darkness and fire from Gehenna will come out from the depths of the earth and shall burn all, from the depths of the earth into the firmament of the air. There shall be fire. V ends here, D continues hereafter. From the firmament of the air to the depths. And the Lord shall be in the firmament to the depths of the earth. The depth of that pit and fire where sinners dwell is so great that should a thirty-year-old man lift a stone and drop it down there, it would scarcely reach the bottom in three years. Then Satan shall be bound in all his army and be sent into the lake of fire. And the Son of God will walk about the firmament with his elect. He will lock up the devil, being bound, with mighty and breakable chains, along with the sinners. Pleading and grieving, they will say, Swallow us, O earth, and our works within you. And then the just will shine like the sun in the kingdom of their father. And he will lead them out before the throne of the invisible father. Behold, I and my children whom God has given to me. O just one, the world did not know you, but I knew you in truth because you sent me. Then the father will respond to his son, saying, O beloved son, sit at my right hand while I set down your enemies as a footstool for your feet, those who have denied me and said, We are gods and before us there is no other god, who killed your prophets and who persecuted your just ones. You will not take vengeance on them in the outer darkness, where there will be tears and gnashing of teeth. And then the Son of God will sit at the right hand of his Father. And the Father will command his angels, and will minister to them and will place them in choirs of angels, and will dress them in incorruptible garments, and will give to them unfading crowns and unshakable thrones. God will be in their midst, and they will not hunger or thirst evermore, nor will the sun fall on them nor any heat, and God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. He will reign with his Holy Father and his reign will have no end, forever and ever. Here ends the secret of the heretics of Concoras, Carcassonne, born from Bulgaria by their bishop Nazario, full of errors, 